Welcome to the channel. My name's Ed Budd, and today I have my first impressions of the New Balance Fuel Cell Rebel. D dude, do you have to do that? The dog is sat here with me and he's being somewhat, he's just not behaving very well. Is he a good one, Piggle? Piggle like this shoe? Piggle like this shoe? So, recently I asked you viewers out there, which shoe do you want me to review next? And the resounding answer not by a landslide, but by a fair way, was the New Balance Fuel Cell Rebel. So I've managed to get my hands on a pair. I have to say, first impressions are pretty good. There's certainly some positive things about the shoe, a couple of negatives, nothing too bad, but let's get into it right away. So overall, quite a large percent of the viewers out there voted for these. The Hoka Rincons were a little behind, but this one's been on my radar as well. So I was kind of quite pleased that you, the viewers, really wanted to see what this shoe could do. Got it from DW Sports here in the UK, arrived pretty quickly and got it for a rather good price as well. So quite happy with that. You know Ed Bird always likes a deal. So I think there's about a six mil drop on these shoes. I don't think it's much more than that. There's nothing else really on the market at the moment that's quite like this shoe. It does have a bit of a plate on the midsole there and a mesh style upper, not dissimilar to that seen on maybe the Carbon X and the Zoom Fly Flyknit. If the Carbon X and the Zoom Fly Fly Knit had a baby, well, certainly the upper might be a little bit similar to this. This heel area here, though, it's certainly got a feel of that neoprene stuff on that Zoom Fly 3. Ooh, you know, I didn't like that very much. Didn't like that at all. Laptop cases, that's what should be made out of neoprene. So, initial thoughts on this shoe, certainly very fitting. I went true to size. I'm a UK size 11, which equates to a... US size 11 and a half actually in the New Balance. This is quite a fitting shoe. I was a little bit worried at first, thought maybe I was gonna have to send these back, go for an 11 and a half. But I can say that you don't want an awful lot of room in the toe box on this shoe. It's certainly a shoe for going fast. It really likes to go at faster paces. It's not gonna be an easy day shoe. Certainly not. This thing wants to work you, it wants to put you through your paces. It wants to test you. And I don't mean a simple maths test, times tables and things like that. I mean a proper test. I think I overagged that a little bit, Ollie. So certainly that material in the upper, similar to the Zoom Fly Flyknit. That's what it kind of felt like a little bit to me. Woven pieces on the side here to give the shoe some structure and that works relatively well It isn't too floppy at the front there and it feels quite robust I've got to be honest that side the fuel cell rebel is quite different to that of the zoom fly fly knit. It does look quite coarse actually this material here it really isn't it's relatively soft and quite thin But does feel like it's got some strength again this back section here with the lovely New Balance logo here. It does have this kind of neoprene material. There is a bit of a heel counter right at the back there. It does feel like it's a plastic heel counter, uh, but it's relatively minimal really. As you can see, the section around the ankle here does drop down quite considerably, sort of keeping away from the ankle, so allowing some flex there in the ball joint. So certainly this section here, it's got that woven design to provide some structure. Really does remind me of the Carbon X. On the Carbon X, you've got that kind of woven area here to provide some structure. They've done the same here on the Fuel Cell Rebel. I think the shoe, in terms of fit and feel, as I first placed my foot into it, it very much feels like some middle ground to me between the New Balance Beacon and the Zoom Fly Flyknit. Felt a little snug, certainly in the toe box area here, though I'd say not overtly small. There is a little bit of room in the toe box area here, although I would suggest that this shoe is built for speed. So I'd be certainly hesitant to recommend for you to size up by a half size or certainly a full size. I think perhaps you'll probably be okay, true to size, though you may want to experiment maybe a half size up, depending on the type of socks that you enjoy wearing. As per usual, I would suggest trying out this shoe in person if possible with some of your chosen running socks just to make sure you get exactly the right fit for you. I went with some slightly thinner Nike dry fit socks and that seemed to create the perfect fit for me. Like a glove. Yeah. So the midsole and outsole of this shoe are very much a mishmash really. You've got some Quite soft and forgiving foam here. You've also got this kind of part of a plate. It's quite quite different actually to uh, other plates. 
what plates you eat your dinner off of. It's different to that. And then you've got this waffly type sort of clear, almost translucent traction area here at the front. It's almost like a sort of frosted colour. It's quite hard to explain. One bit of note here, so I found that the exposed foam here did take a slight beating. You can see that a rock got wedged in here pretty, pretty deep. I've had to remove it with some apparatus um, and it's left quite a hole. Other than that, over 11 miles, which I've done up to now, shoe's still looking pretty good on the outsole. No major creasing of note in the midsole. I think the foam in the New Balance Fuel Cell Rebel certainly feels a little softer to me than the React using the Nike Zoomfly Flyknit and certainly softer than Lunalon that was used in the Zoomfly. Is it softer than that fresh foam stuff that's used in the Beacon? I don't know. It certainly feels nice to me though. There's still some decent response in the midsole, but it still feels soft enough that you can run some slower miles in this one without too much discomfort. The kind of strange protrusion area here that people have been commenting about to me doesn't really stand out actually that much when you actually run in the shoe. Might look a bit odd, certainly. You can see it there. Kind of protrudes out here. Might look a bit odd, but believe me, it really doesn't feel that different. Maybe it's creating a slightly wider landing area for your foot. I have found that the laces in this shoe are ridiculously long. New Balance, why are you providing us with such long laces in this shoe? Really not necessary. I've had to kind of knot the shoe, then double knot it, and then put the remainder of the laces underneath the previous crosses of the laces here to kind of keep them out of the way and stop them kind of flapping around. May I demonstrate? I've not really tightened the shoe that too far, but when you do tighten the shoe up, I mean, there's just, there's a ridiculous amount of give in the laces as well. There's kind of, they're quite, they're quite springy. They kind of give quite a lot. So you, you get even more just when you think you've kind of tightened them up you, you get more, more that you don't want. I have found that the, insoles of the fuel cell rebel are incredibly thin and they don't seem to have much of a tactile kind of feel on the underside of them i think we may have the old beacon insole slipping problem with this shoe though i have utilized them today on two different runs the first was a run of three miles around about eight minutes per mile pace i actually felt that these did quite well they felt comfortable enough soft enough for that easy run just to kind of wake me up in the morning and get the mind engaged. Over the course of the day, I was kind of thinking about the shoe a little bit. Wanted to get some more miles into the shoe. A few of the viewers commented on Strava that it does improve in terms of its performance when you start pushing those paces up. And you know I like doing that at the moment. So on returning from a hard day's graft, got the shoes back on and hit it for eight miles. Two miles warm up, there was roughly about six odd kilometers in there at much higher pace. It was a three by two kilometers interval style session with 200 meters of recovery in between. Supposed to be hitting those intervals at something around about 10K pace. In fairness, a bit tired, legs were still pretty tired from quite a hard effort on the Sunday. But I have to say that the New Balance Fuel Cell Rebels really gave me a exciting ride. They certainly provide some propulsion. They're light enough that I didn't really consider too much about the weight at all. They felt kind of like my Zoomfly Flyknits actually. They gave me that feeling. They felt relatively familiar. No real issues in terms of any hot spots, any discomfort at all with the shoe. I don't think they're in the same league as kind of the Vaporflies or perhaps the Pegasus Turbos in terms of getting up to those higher speeds. But certainly an interesting alternative to some of the other carbon plate style shoes that are out there at the moment. In terms of traction, felt really great on pavements. I had to take evasive action a couple of times. There were some young people on those balance bikes flying towards me. Uh, there was a couple of red setters that were very excited and wanted to chase me at one point. So I took to some grass there. And I've got to be honest, the, uh, the fuel cell rebels held up pretty well. Traction wasn't ridiculously bad on grass. 
moved on to some dirt kind of tracks at one point and felt pretty good there too. Certainly provide a good level of propulsion, perhaps not the same as having a full length carbon plate in the midsole, but did provide a decent level of propulsion. I think overall fit across the forefoot here was good. I didn't really have to play around with the shoe too much. They've got these interesting kind of reinforced sections here. It feels like this some something a little thicker. No, they're actually relatively rigid, these red pieces here. They don't give too much. The laces kind of pass through there and you just kind of tighten them up as required. I didn't feel that the upper was bunching too much either. Sometimes you can feel that if you've got a slightly narrower foot, you start tightening up the laces here and they really do bunch and it kind of feels a little bit uncomfortable. No feelings as such with the New Balance Fuel Cell Rebel. Lockdown was easily achieved and it doesn't feel like you need to put too much pressure on this kind of forefoot area in the Rebels. So on a couple of those intervals, I managed to get up into that sort of six minutes, 30 per mile kind of pace territory and felt relatively good in these. For a first run out, initial impressions are very favorable. Certainly, I think that this is a better shoe at around about a hundred pounds. If you look around, you can find it for that. Around about a hundred pounds, I think it's a better shoe in terms of value and versatility than the Zoom Fly 3. It's a lighter shoe for sure. Yes, it's, it's definitely lighter. Still gives you that propulsive feeling if you want to achieve those higher paces. I think there's a bit less of a heel to toe drop in this shoe and it certainly feels less cumbersome than that Zoom Fly 3. Probably more in keeping with the Zoom Fly Flyknit if you have worn that shoe before. So for the money, I feel it's a good alternative to the other carbon fiber plate shoes that are out there at present. I've certainly enjoyed those initial two runs and looking forward to plowing some more miles into this one. So approximate weight of the Fuel Cell Rebel is about 225 grams. I think that equates to around about eight ounces. It's gonna be approximate. I think the wife's been using those scales again for you know, measuring out like food and things like that. Why on earth would you use scales to do something so ridiculous? They were made to weigh running shoes, right? So it's a pretty light effort. Certainly one you could use for racing. I'm gonna be doing a lot of training in this one. Not entirely sure I'll race in it yet, but who knows, I don't count anything out. So please do stay tuned over the next few weeks for some more updates on this shoe. Certainly very positive first impressions. Please do comment below if you have the New Balance Fuel Cell Rebels. Give me your opinions, give me your views. I'm always very, very interested to hear those. Please share this video and the channel with other runners. We're really moving up in terms of our subscribers. Lots and lots of new viewers, which is really fantastic. I do appreciate it. Make sure you hit that subscribe button in the corner here. Really important. And click the bell for notifications so that you are aware of when new videos are launched. Hit that like button. My name's Ed Bud. I'll be seeing you.